Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at Vex Rules, checking out with middle school team 938A Blaze through a box, phenomenal season tournament champions. A couple design awards getting in here into the world championship as well too. So congratulations on a great season and doing pretty well in your division as well too. So we can't wait to see how you end up in the playoffs as well too. Take a look at 938A, we'll be doing that full journey overview, talking about a lot of things, how their design works out. Uh, love their overall intake mechanism they're doing. Got a C tier hang as well too. A lot of great stuff. And then we're gonna be diving more into team management, some of their strategy as well too in these matches. So we can't wait to learn more about Blaze Robotics coming up here on Pips and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Well, Lucas, you got a phenomenal team here, so if you don't mind, why don't you introduce your team out, and then we're gonna be diving right into your hang on your robot, too. Thank you, Tyler. I'm Lucas, and we are 938A, a first-year robotics team from Kirkland, Washington. Cool, and uh, talk to me more about your uh, hang that you uh, have here. Uh, it's, it's been working out really well so far. Tell me more. Uh, this hang currently is an instantaneous C-tier hang, and it works very well in competition. It is never missed and always goes up, even after multiple fires. Something we prioritized throughout the season was the implementation of reliable designs. This hang, can you make it go up? This hang hangs instantly and very quickly, which allows us to, to score more reliable points. When you were designing this, what made you want to go with uh, four pneumatic pistons on it? So four pneumatic pistons reduces our weight. We saw multiple teams uh, implementing six pistons onto their instantaneous C-tier hang, which was weighing too much and causing the robot to slow down. Weight, is a, weight optimization is something we prioritize a lot throughout the season. And Adam, why is this hang working out so well? Like what's been attributed to all your consistencies that you've had so far? And so one of the main things about our hang, as Lucas mentioned, is that it's instantaneous. How we get this instantaneous is by using excessive rubber bands. These rubber bands are much more than what we need to stay up, but they allow us to go up at lower PSIs and much quicker, as can be seen. Okay. And another big feature of our hang is our piston mounting. Our piston mounting, which was used to be on pillow bearings, is now directly to these screws, which makes it much more reliable. Vincent, let's talk about the intake on your robot for this as well too. It's been working out so well. You notice a couple of cool features of this. You got a little bit of compliance on here, trap doors, a lot of cool stuff that goes into it. Tell me more about it. So our intake uses uh, flex wheels uh, because they work better with with intaking uh, tri balls. It also has two motors, which uh, was really essential because it helps us uh, take in tri balls really quickly and it helps us overall with intake speed. One uh, main feature with our intake is our through intake polling. As you see, we have we have trap doors which allow us to intake, intake, which allows us to intake, um, but not make it too high so that we can't outtake anymore. And then it also allows us to push it through, which is really essential for match game play. Uh, another feature on this intake is our um, zip tie, which allows us to get uh, autonomous midpoint, which allows us to touch the ball. I gotta ask you, uh, some of the meta evolution we see in this game is teams stealing uh, tri balls from other teams as well too. Has this uh, intake been good in regards to preventing other teams from stealing tri balls from you? Oh, uh, one, yes. Um, one thing we did was to make this limit the amount of high, highness it can go so that it, it won't be able to, other teams won't be able to steal from it. Uh, we also made it really snug in there so that uh, teams also won't be able to take the tribal release. Last thing I want to ask you this with the dual motor uh, intake they have in that, when did you add that onto your robot? When did that become part of your design? Uh, we added this uh, after states and when we were going to worlds because we saw other teams that were like had really good intakes and also with game strategy evolving, we've had like with game strategy evolving, the intake has become more useful. 
And Luke is talking about evolution on your robot here. Uh, your wall rider set you're rocking as well. And sleds have been working out really well. Love to just hear more about that because your team seems to be going over the barrier very well and going through the alley very smoothly too. Thank you, Tyler. So throughout this season, we've implemented many innovations to our robot, including to the front of our robot, whether through the intake or the front drivetrain. This front drivetrain has a sloped front, which allows the tri-boss to more easily enter the intake, which allows us to intake a lot more reliably than we did in the past, such as that. Very cool on that. Um, and then uh, in regards to your sleds on that, have you made any big changes? Because I noticed on here you got sleds on the front, uh, but I don't see too much on the back. So are you only able to go over the barrier in a certain direction on your robot? Throughout the season, we've figured that we are better off as an offensive team, which allows for uh, the usage of front sleds. We found that the usage of back sleds did not contribute much to our robot and only increased the chance of breaking plane and autonomous. Amanda, let's talk about how you manage competitions as well to come in. There's a lot that goes into uh, overall team and also match strategy as well. I'd love to hear more about how your team approaches that. So first of all, we make a list of every team we're going against so we can analyze all their matches. So like if you see here, we have a bunch of match analysis. So we figure out like what their autons are, how consistent they are. We figure out their, how effective their sleds are, also their driver and game strategy as well as their end game. So this allows Lucas and the rest of my team to effectively plan and strategize with our alliance partner beforehand. So as we're recording this, you got one match left here in Qualls right now. So talk mm -hmm. about how some of that conversation is gonna go with your next alliance partner. Um, for that, we would probably, we first like compile a list of all the information we've gathered about that team. And then I'll just like send it to Lucas, Adam and Vincent. And then they'll go and discuss with our alliance partner beforehand. And then we can plan out. And then we also over here, we also have um, a laminated sheet of the field, which makes it easier to plan out the strategy. No, that's really cool. You know, I think a lot of teams really should be doing more of that, right? And being prepared and planned, because that's what makes a great alliance partner as well, too, especially as you're getting ready for playoffs uh, for this well. We can't wait to see how that gets implemented on this as well, too. Let's start to wrap up this robot, pass it over to Adam, talk about the uh, horizontal back wing that you have in here. Something I really want to ask you is that I only noticed your team has one of those back wings. So I'd love to hear more about that decision to go that route and how it's been working out for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as Lucas said, uh, we have been focused on mainly being an offensive team. And by doing bowling is how we score most of our try balls. This back wing is only on the right side because we want it to be a little bit lighter than having it on both sides. But we also want it to be able to touch the match the game. Another feature of this is the scoop, which allows us to de-score balls that would be in the match low bar by turning and it lifts them out. One last feature on our single hang is that the bent metal reduces a little bit of the sound energy, leading to a little bit more efficiency when hitting the bar. Uh, speaking about different types of energy, uh, we talked earlier about this magical balloon that your robot is using as well too. So talk to me more about how this uh, implements into your match strategy and how it's been working out so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Earlier, in the earlier games, we would use this as kind of a signal that we hoped to. It didn't work out as well, but it's a nice attraction to our booth. And anything that gets people into our booth, uh, we can then hand them stickers or flyers, which can result in better alliance partner. And also, it looks cool, which is about plus 10 points per match. Hey, whatever works to get the job done, I'm all for as well too. Blazer Box, congratulations on a great season overall. You have multiple teams here at Bex Rolls and all having great seasons, so a phenomenal tribute to this entire program as well. So good luck here. The rest of the way, thanks for telling us more about Machine, and we can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Tyler. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.